Hey, I'm back. It's been a while and uh, I had shot a makeup video and the footage <laughs> got messed up. So this is a reshoot. I know I had put a picture on Facebook and been like, make a video coming soon. Well, that make video did not work out. So here I am doing a different one, but it's going to be a very similar eye look to what I had posted the picture. So basically Kat Von D's States and Sinners palette and Kat Von D's Alchemist palette and then the base that I have been using forever since I got it ooh that's shiny is um the Beauty and the Beast palette by Lorac four all right the face is not really the focus today today I just kind of wanted to go over a simple eye look with this new palette and let you guys know that Kat Von D definitely hit it out of the park with this palette for me and again, the biggest complaint I've heard about this palette is people don't understand why she put them in the order she put them in. And basically the gist is it's supposed to look like a cathedral, like a stained glass. And that's exactly what I get, the feeling that I get when I look at this. I absolutely love, love, love just about everything about this palette. The colors, I have gotten so many compliments when wearing these colors out. All right, so on to the look. Alright, as a base again, what I've been using here lately, and I've almost panned it, right here, it is called Dream It in the Beauty and the Beast palette. Just look at that. That is just amazing, the amount of shine you get off of this. That I just kind of drench my eye in. And definitely do not miss the corners and a little bit goes a long way but again I've been using this pretty much since I got it and I think this palette was like last year I think so um, since I'm gonna be doing pink pink tones with this look today I'm going to use the alchemist palette which this is just a beautiful palette. It's not that expensive. It's only a $30, I think 30 somewhere around there dollar palette. Um, I've gotten a ton of use out of this. A little bit goes a long way. I mean, you can see that it, I've indented a little bit on here, but nothing terrible. I use it a lot. All right, as I was saying, because I'm doing um, pinks today, I'm going to go with the um, the pink opal in this palette gonna get a fluffy brush and this is basically gonna be kind of like a transition color I don't even know if you can see the um, the shift but it has a pink shift on it that is just absolutely beautiful and this one, I'm not going to put up to the eyebrow. The eyebrow is the uh, Once Upon a Time palette. This is just all over the lid. You can kind of see the shift. <sighs> color switch. I love this thing. It's not super expensive. It's Sephora's color switch. It's an easy way to make sure that you don't get color residue from the previous color without your brush being wet so you can use it automatically again it's come in real handy for cosplay makeup because you don't have to like wash your brushes in between and carry 10 million brushes to conventions if you're doing other people's makeup let's see if i shift this you can see a little bit better in that light but it's got a very, very iridescent pink shift to the color. All right, move along, move along. Now to get into our main attraction. Again, I'm just gonna show it one more time just cause this is just beautiful palette. It has the names of them on the back. When you open it, it's just really, really, really beautiful. All right, again, today I already stated we're gonna go for the pinky look that I posted the photo of. 
So I already have the opal shift on. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be going into, well, actually, you know what? Do you guys want to see swatches before I go do this? I can do swatches. Blank arm, nothing on it. Let's start out with swatches so you guys can see how pretty these are. I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. This one you are not going to probably be able to see very well on my skin, but you can kind of see the iridescent shift on it. It is called Absolution. And finger. I may just do finger, finger swatches. Um, it does pretty well, most of them, with just... A, with a brush as you will see but like the metallic -y ones you'll definitely want to use like a um, setting spray with and pack it on with a either a packing brush or your finger because it's a metallic that's what metallics do um, next one is rapture again it's very 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 pretty uh, we'll show you the top two. So this is Absolution and this is Rapture. Moving to the next row, we got Worship. It's a really pretty, um, it's like a purpley mauve color. Again, I don't know if you can tell on my skin tone because I'm like so pale. Or is that a little bit better maybe? Next to that is Immaculate, which is a very, very, very smoky green. Right next to that we have Sabbath, which is a very, very rich black. Then we have Ashes, which is kind of a translucent brown. And that is this row. All right, I had to stop real quick. Um, I had a visitor, so continuing. We just did Worship, Immaculate, Sabbath, and Ashes. This line right here. This is one of the prettiest colors ever, and when you foil it, it does look that pretty, and you will see, because that's one of the ones we're gonna be using in the video today. Um, ashes is hard to describe, but it's like this neutral brown that has gold flecks on it. It looks amazing. All right, next one. Chalice. It is a very mute gold tone. If you'll focus. It's very, very, very soft formula too. I really appreciate Sacred Heart. Next to that is Amen, and this one you are probably not going to be able to see on my skin. It is um, like a beigey, beigey white. Next after that is Barter. which is a orangey, kind of orangey clay. After that is Devil, which is a true orange. And then Revelation, which is almost like a brown orange with flecks of gold on it. All right. Wiping those off real quick. Maybe I'll just do the back. And so the one that we just looked at is this one right here. Next line is Sanctuary. It's almost like a coppery purple. It's really interesting color. I like it a lot. 
After that is Heaven, which is almost like a pinky silver. Then Crucifix, which is like a very, very deep brown. Next one is Vestment, which is a very metallic-y, smoky blue. Next is Ministry, which is a little bit brighter of a metallic blue. After that is like a neon green sparkly, which is Exodus. I switched the color of the lamp to uh, natural light. See if we get a better read on the colors. I'm probably going to switch back to the white light after we're done with the swatches because it's easier to do makeup with that. And that was this right here. And then the final is Cathedral. Which is a very silvery gray. Rosary, which is another really, really pretty red. It's like a metallic-y, burnt red almost. Baptism, which I don't know how well you're going to be seeing. It's like a pink white. It's hard to describe, but it definitely is very, very nice like base color. Exorcism, which is a very purpley metallic. Relic, which is a very, very nice gold. And then... Finally, Stigmata, which is a very, very pretty orangey um, red metallic. Good enough. All right. And this is the black row that you just saw. All right, so let's get into it. And let me change the light. There you go. And I'll do probably all three lights once this look is done, let you see in different lighting what this is going to look like. All right, now that we have the base down, basically I'm going to go ahead and dip into Sacred Heart and do that on the outer corner, just in the crease and on the lid right here. Gonna use a color switch to knock off just a little bit more of the powder. That way I can kind of blend this in. I'm doing right in the middle because I still want that opal to show right here. The pink opal from the Alchemist palette that I have on. Alright. And that is Sacred Heart. Alright, now the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do uh, stigmata in the corner corner. And we'll blend it out. Again, I just knock the powder off. You can do all of this with like just a couple of brushes, you don't need a ton of, oops, sorry. Alright, now I'm going to kind of blend it in to the Sacred Heart and kind of wing it out. Take rosary this one is just going on the corner and will not be blending it 
into stigmata all that much. This is pretty much going to stay here and then I'm going to blend it across the lid a little bit. Once that is done, I'll go back in with a little bit more of the opal. And then I will be going in with a detail using Mac Fix Prime and Prep, Max Fix Plus spraying. And then I think I need to get to use this rag. Just lightly dabbing into it. And then lighting. Now I'm doing kind of a thick line because I'm still going to do eyeliner and I want to make sure that this doesn't get completely covered. Try the different lights. Probably going to, yep, I'm going to do underneath. Same method. So that is Rapture, Sacred Heart, Rosemary, or Rosary, and Stigmata. And then to cap it off, I used the Pink Opal in the Alchemist palette. And usually I use Stila Eyeliner, Waterproof Eyeliner. That has been like my go-to, but I apparently did not bring it down. So I'm gonna be using the Sample Sephora Waterproof. I've used this before. It's not terrible, but it doesn't have the same power that I would like. And also the tip of this is very, very blunt. So I don't think I'm gonna get, you know what? We're gonna end up going smoky, smoky, smoky. Because this tip is so blunt, I can't get the line that I want. So I'm gonna take a smudger and just smudge it out across the lash line. I'm trying to stay as close to the lash line as humanly possible. Again, I don't want to cancel out the rapture. I may go back in with a little bit more rapture. Because, yeah, this is not usually how I do eyeliner with this look. Usually I do a wing. Yeah. 
That's not terrible. I don't think I'm even going to try to attempt to wing with this eyeliner. I'm pretty sure it would just be a mess. It's just so... No kind of a... Uh, line at all. Alright. Once the liner's on, I usually will go back in. Just give a little bit more highlight. I'm dipping into the Rapture. There we go. And since I have very, very small eyes, I always go. with white liner on the waterline. There we go. Um, you know what, since I didn't have my liner down here, I'm going to do a little something. So basically I just took the Max Fix Plus, same lighter, or same detail brush I've been using. I'm going to dip into Sabbath, which is the black color, in the palette. And just do it that way. If you're in a pinch and you're out of liner, this will work. Um, Max Fix Plus. Just got a little bit more of a detail brush because the left side straggled a little. There we go. Using eyeshadow as eyeliner. It works in a pinch. <sighs> Alright. Then I have been using uh, Clinique Lash Building Primer. And you gotta let that sit for a minute, kind of sink in. So while that's sitting, I'm gonna grab an angled brush and do some highlights. This is Becca. Just a little dip in. There we go. This is nice and subtle. Again. This is a very subtle look. This is like something you can wear on a regular basis. And once I have it on, I take a flush brush, just kind of fluff it out. Okay. Alright. It's almost clear now. It starts on white and then it goes clear when it gets start just to get ready to uh, apply the lashes. Well, and I'm still using the Last Sensational because, again, the staying power on this is incredible. It's also fairly inexpensive for those of us on a beauty budget.
it. There we go. Alright. I said alright like 10 times now, huh? And again, I've discussed before, do not do this after you put your mascara on, do it before. Me personally, I just have a ton of lashes. I keep this nice and clean so it doesn't get, st it sticks is the problem if you already have your mascara on. But, I usually don't have that problem, so this is the way I do it. And for the lips to finish it off, I have been using um, Nude Sticks. It stays on really well. It doesn't hardcore dry out your lips in this particular color. I just really like. It's called Greystone. I just put it directly on my tooth. Awesome. This will dry down to a really, really matte finish. Do, 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 do. Let me put a little dab. Just a little bit of a blush. And then You know, I think I want a little more highlight. Choose some of this, uh, what's up? I got my play box. There you go. Alright, and we are all done. Aside from setting. Again, I use Ben Eye. I like it, it works. It's not super expensive, but it's also not super cheap. I swear by it. I like, I'm a cosplayer at heart still. I know most people are like, ooh, that's what you use for like cosplay makeup. Well, I could use it for makeup, period. That's my choice, and I'm sticking to it. And now my nose are running. All right. Here are the different lights. The cool tone. This is supposed to be natural light. And then fluorescent. Alright, I hope you found this informational and um, two thumbs up for the Kat Von D palettes. And happy cosplay, happy life. I hope everybody's holiday is fantastic.